Okay, so I'm going to do a video on uh, what's gone on on this Dodge of Graham, this 29 Dodge. So you want to start at the back here and just work our way around it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. So up here you did what? Up here was all rotten. Okay. We made a piece in here. Yep. Okay, welded all that in. Um, also, this pan. We rebuilt all this lip, this pan in, trimmed it to fit underneath because it was too long. Yeah, so you could see those beautiful ribs yeah. that are on there. Yeah, so you could see this. Yeah. And get a nice curvature to it. Okay. And there's a pan underneath I replaced, I repaired as well. Okay. Um, replaced all the dotted out areas, right? Yep. And the chunk lip. And we go on to the subframe. This is the subframe on top of the original frame. Yep. Um, where it curves up here, it was sitting about half an inch off the frame, and the owners wanted it, it to sit flat. Okay. So what I had to do is brace this area, all this, to the original frame underneath. Then, cut the bracing all in here, both sides for the trunk. Brace that to the original frame, which doesn't move, because I only, was only working on the subframe. Yeah. Then, cut the subframe here and here, both sides. And a little bit of heat, tap. Bang it down so it settled in, it settled down onto the frame, yep. clamped it in place. And then I had a three, three quarter inch gap here, and a half an inch gap here. So I made some pieces up to extend my bracing. Okay. Down the roll because we had a gap, because it's, the yeah. subframe settled so, down. Right here, yeah. and then again and down right here. Yeah, right there, yeah. Okay. So the owners are happy. The car's settled down onto the onto the subframe now. Or onto the frame. On this is subframe. Yeah. It's settled onto the frame, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So then we went on to up here, mm -hmm. which there was bracing there, but it was braced to rotten rusted metal. Okay, so I replaced this whole pan here. This whole pan here, and yep. they, the owners wanted a hole in it for while it comes stock, right? Okay, so you did that did on both this sides. Side, I, and this side. Okay. Up front, uh, it was just a little chunk welded in there that was bending, so I replaced that side, that side, re welded all the inner framing. So basically, where the kick panels would be. Yeah, where the exactly okay. where the kick panels would be. Um, so the car, I had to stabilize it first because it was moving. Okay. Like the body was moving because yeah. it wasn't attached to solid metal. Right. Okay. Then to make everything solid, um, repaired. Uh, we had to recut all of this. Yeah. And these fenders, I rebuilt all inside. Because they were all rotted. Because they, they bolted onto the body. They bolt up. Okay. Yeah, you can see here. This is all new metal in here. Yep. It was all rotten out, so I cut all that out. Okay. Redid it. So it's not. And it's, so it's going to bolt up nice and tight and have a nice line here. Yeah, so this gap is really yeah, nice. Yeah, so this gap here. is nice. Yep. Then uh, I cut this out. Yep, There's that was all ugly, rotten. There's an ugly, ugly piece in here. Yep. And it was all bowed and rotten. And so... And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there is a slight curve to that as well. So Yeah, it's curved you rolled this way that. and this way. Yeah. go into here then we rebuilt all this lip down here 
and put a new lip in here. All this is brand new. It was all rotten out. Okay. And then we had to, well, we had to do a lot of adjustments to get the door to fit properly. So and the, and nice the gap. gaps, gaps to fit. Yeah. Okay, we're still going to adjust it, final adjustment. It's not okay. perfect right now. Okay. Then there was a couple patches here, just a small patch here. There was two holes on the either side of the cowl for yeah, I don't even know holes. what for. I don't know what for either. But they wanted them welded up. Yeah. So and then the trunk lid, well it's not on the car right now. But you can see how this fits. It fits nice and tight compared to what it was. Yeah. Um then I had to fit the door on. door didn't fit so what I have to do is redo all the subframe to make sure that it was stable so the body was rigid and didn't move yep because everybody knows if the car flexes your door isn't gonna fit yeah right. you, nothing's gonna fit right yeah and then what I had to do because our gaps were so far out, just take a slice from the bottom all the way up to where it was chopped and open this gap up. Okay. Because it was flex it was flexing everywhere and it was way too tight and the door was out of filter. Okay. Then in the door was a big bubble here. For what reason? I don't know. But it was a big bubble. Somebody did some work here. Um, it was a big balloon and it pulled out and it would have looked horrible after it was painted. So what I did is I sliced it and then we pushed it in to the curvature of the other door. So it's contoured, right? Yeah. Because you can't have a big bubble in there. It would just look like shit, right? It would yeah. look like total shit. Exactly. And then we prepared a couple more here. I got more of oh, this isn't finished yet. We got a couple more pieces to put in here. Cool. Then uh, rebuilt all of this. This lip as well on this side. All this corner here. And now what we're doing is waiting for some pieces. I measured they're gonna be done on a brake press and they're going to curve in and down. They're going to curve like the curvature of the door panel. Yep. Then they're going to go in quarter inch from the frame and then up three inches. So what the owner's looking for is it's going to stay away from the frame. This body is attached to the subframe inside. Yeah. So when you unbolt the subframe, you can lift this whole body right off. Yeah. Right off. That's what he wants. Okay. Removable body. Okay. Awesome. So I guess we'll finish off this video when you get the new pieces. Yeah, the trunk lid is in there. A bunch of work on that. Okay. Uh, here, we'll go there and look at it. Please. Yeah, we'll get away from this compressor. Then... Okay, this is the trunk lid for it. All this was rotten. This was so rotten. And I redid all of this. Okay. Solid. Still not quite finished, I'm gonna weld these guys up here. And so, and then we put a piece on the outside as well. Yeah. And then put the original, uh, just some sort of trunk latch in there. Yeah. For the handle. So we put a piece in here because it was all rotten. Okay. And then we, the owner had to make sure, of course, that your lips are all around. 
So yeah. this piece I put in, I put the lip on it too, right? Yeah. So it's, so it's, it's stock, over. Yeah. right? And it, it's the way it should be from the factory. Yep. And it's just doing it properly. If you want to spend, uh, you got to spend the time though. Yeah. Take your time when you're doing it. And uh, yeah, there you that's go. as far as we are now. Almost looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah, some days. <laughs> All right, and we got Bruce over here working on the 36 trunk lid, some body work. So I guess we'll finish this up and um, we'll come back to you uh, once we get those other pieces back from the break. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the company go with break. one piece, right? Yeah, because our break isn't okay, big enough, our roller like isn't this. big enough. It's going to go here, up here, and then I'm going to cut out the section that's being rolled. Roll and then tuck in. And then and back now up. I'm gonna put this all in in one piece. There you go. And so we'll come back when that's all yeah, done and give you another look at this. But she's coming along good, so I hope Graham's happy with her and uh Oh he's smiling all the time. Yeah, every time he comes to see it. Yeah. Okay, we'll sign off and we'll see you guys later. <laughs>